act the fool. Uh oh. Okay, gotta win a flip. Oh yes, let's hold. Come on, let's do it. Yes. Fuck yes, let's get this shit. And uh, we're hoping to get called here by Ace-10. Ace-9. You know, I don't really give a shit as long as it's something I beat. <clears throat> I'll take King-6. I'll take King-6. That one works for me. Jam this, which I think is super obvious. I have like... 18 bigs with 9s. Kinda get fucked. <laughs> Hopefully we smash a 9. Oh my, let's go! Yes! This is good! Look at this shit today! Get it in bad, win! People are gonna be like, yeah, you run so good. I'm like, sometimes. Sometimes. I'm running good right now. I'm not gonna lie about that. Let's play a raise the small blind. See about the flop is barreling the turn. It's one of those hands that really sucks, but on this river I just have to call it off. I don't think I get to fold this hand. I just unblock two, I unblock bluffs too well. Like the four of diamonds, the margin is like not the greatest, but like whatever. <clears throat> so like that player did 3x pre-flop and then bet the flop and bet the turn. So like that's why it felt like if they jam, like it kind of sucks, but I'm gonna fucking call, I guess. So this is two, four, eight, seventeen. So this is a single raise pot. So we're not folding the turn. <clears throat> not that I'd be like, you know, folding the turn a lot if it was a raised pot, but it's just not that close in a single raised pot. It's not close enough, it's not close enough to a pot either, but so I wanted to make sure that I knew what was going on. People just don't bluff here enough, but... If I'm gonna call against anybody, it's against this player. This hand's an equilibrium call. I fucking know people don't bluff here enough. Oh my god. These numbers don't make it fucking pain in the ass to fold. I don't think I'm gonna fold, guys. I mean, he's not that wide from the cutoff, but... Those are some wide EP numbers. Yeah, I'm the worst. I am the worst. Oh man, I should have fucking folded. People just don't bluff there enough. Yeah, that was bad. Hmm. Like, he opens 20, he's, he's opening like 28 and 24 from EP and MP, respectively. He's got like... You know, small sample, 100% river seabed, and then like he's seabedding a lot on the other from the, from other positions. Like he's just, he's just seabedding a lot, um, like more than he's supposed to, and it makes it like hard. At least over my sample, seabedding more than he's supposed to. I don't know if it's like universally true, but it's definitely true in my sample. And like he's got a weaker preflop range, he's got weaker seabed ranges, and it makes it hard. Makes it hard. Fuck. We're back in it, by the way. We're back in it. Here's this 2K again. Just keep keep running it, keep ripping it, keep calling it off, keep re-entering it. Act the fool. Uh-oh. Okay, gotta win a flip. Oh, yes, let's hold. Come on, let's do it. Yes! Fuck yes, let's get this shit. I'm about it. Oh my god, what the fuck is this walk shit with aces? We just got walked, I didn't even get to raise. Yeah, I mean like it's not the right hand for like, I want to call call, but I don't think it's the right hand for it. Let's hold. Come on, eight. I'll take this queen, I'll take the queen. Let's go. 
Oh shit, you guys missed that. Oh, you missed it. That's so brutal. I'm the worst at this streaming thing. I'm the worst at this streaming thing sometimes. This guy jammed. We got a KO. <laughs> we got paid. So, you know, we're making some money. We're getting some discounts on these fucking 2Ks. We got a KO on the last one too. So, we're losing money, but it's not quite as bad. It's not as bad. I'm just going to keep checking. At Plapa, is it normal to break even for three months? It's normal to lose after three months. It's normal to lose after six months. MTTs are tough. Lots of variance, lots of volatility. Like the non-professional playing public really can't like really appreciate how much volatility there is because to be honest because the professional poker playing community mostly doesn't appreciate how much volatility there is well he had the best hand on the turn when we called so like most pros don't know what they're signing themselves up for when they become professional tournament players okay so ep opened i flatted the button That's interesting. <clears throat> it's really close to whether or not I want to jam. Like, I, I want to jam. I'm just not sure that's a good idea. So I'm just going to call. Like, I'm not sure. Like, that, that betting strategy has, like, exactly, like, aces and kings. Eight, like, aces and, yeah, maybe kings in it that I beat. All right. I'm going to run this. <clears throat> it's close to the bubble, which is a bit problematic, but... Ten's gonna flip a lot. Oh, sometimes we have the best hand. We'll take that. Yes. I'm gonna bluff here. This one worked. So this buff worked, so that's good. Or we got counterfeit. 40 bigs. It's like obviously under 40, but it's a little awkward. Ah, oh, fuck. Spades? Nope, dead. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, but I just don't think it's like, I guess I could call. I don't, I'm not like three banks like some other sizing. I mean, it's just a super standard spot. Like, it's fucking whatever. There are some hands I don't mind calling with. This is this is one of them. Like, I would jam ace 10. I think, like, call folding ace 8 offset seems, like, reasonable. It's going to do, like, badly enough against a really large fraction of the hands that are going to jam or felt that I don't mind call folding this hand. This is a lot of equity to bet fold, I'm just gonna check. I think betting's not been, like totally unreasonable or anything, but it's probably, probably gonna hit this flop a lot. not the greatest river in the world. There's gonna be a lot of boats in this range that are like Jack 10x boats. I, it's easy to call against this sizing. That's like really easy. There's gonna be a lot of eights in this sizing strategy. So I guess, no, I'm not gonna jam. I'm gonna jam when I have like his hand. I'm not gonna jam with that hand. 
I'll be honest. So before we see if Probers has kings here, I was going to 4-bet shove. So I'm just telling you, I was going to rip it in. Oops. Bad BBZ. Bad BBZ. Whoo! Got saved. Because I was going, it was going in. Got saved by Artemko. See, I tell it before it happens. That way you don't, you know. Oh yeah, I was going to fold after I see him fucking jam. No, no, no. You got to say before. You got to do it. You got to pick what you're going to do before. You know, you see what he does. I was going to rip it. I was about to get super choked and be like, I'm going to lose. Oh my God. I should have jammed. Give my hand back. Okay, you can have it. I don't want it anymore. I don't want it anymore. It's all you guys. I was always folding. I was never going to format rip it. I was never going to call. I was always just going to get out of the way. You know what I mean? Like this player like limp shoves and then you're just like DF aces, right? And then you like have to worry about it and then you fucking call it off and win, hopefully. I do think this is going to be like a pretty high frequency C bet, so, so the way that these rings are usually built and the way that my isolating range usually looks. For spurt referring more to my range than my hand. What stakes and cash online can you like I'm gonna, I can refer to online like online I can easily like two five zoom on stars is like is like a probably it's like a pretty tough game I mean like the, the, the game the zoom games higher than that don't run right so like you can't play like 5 10 10 20 25 50 50 100 zoom like 24 7 like those games just don't exist I don't think so as far as like running regularly so two five zoom is like where like, there's a lot of good players and I have a really healthy win rate at one two zoom and I don't have a sample at two five zoom so I can I can definitely beat one two zoom and I don't know if I can beat two five zoom. Let's be honest, I have no idea if I can beat it. I'm not gonna tell you I can when I don't know. I don't know. But two five zoom is like no joke. Like you have to fucking know what you're doing. Like you have to know like a lot of the adjustments. And I'm like I'm just too loose. You know what I mean? Like I play anti formats all day long. When I switch over to playing no anti formats, my ranges are too weak. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta bluff, guys. Sometimes you gotta earn those calls. You know what I mean? You gotta earn those fucking hero calls. You gotta earn those hero calls by bluffing. That's the other really good feeling of Nola would hold. Is when you bluff and you rip it. You know, you're basically like, you know, you quote unquote, you risk everything. And it works. Shit's fucking amazing. So I flatted the small blind here with the big blind in mind. This is just like a really clean call. I'm not gonna jam. I think there's like ICM pressure on my stack at this point in the tournament as well. So like I'm not gonna do anything thin. I'm just gonna call it off and lose to an ace, ace of hearts, which is a thing. It happens. <clears throat> I 
obviously if I three bet then that hand folds pre flop, which is you know whatever. But you know you're trying to make the maximum, and I think it's a reasonable hand for me to include to my flatting range at a small weight with the big blind on the big blind's stack size. <clears throat> In this format, KO formats. All right. Well, we're gonna call against the fifteen big blind resteal. Hold. Oh, the king is good. No queen. Yes. So this is a small blind limp that I checked. Preflop. And that's what, like, you know, a lot of people don't realize is, like, how good of a job the professional playing community, like, how well of a job that we do like, collectively, you know, I haven't really ever done anything, but, 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 like, collectively professional players do policing the games. And that's almost all on the back of a HUD. Like, if you don't have a HUD, it's fucking impossible. So. I think I'm over this. I mean, I have six high, and like it's a good spot to bluff and everything, and like I can represent a four and just like rip it, but I think I'm just gonna give up. I think this hand's like, you know, reasonable for me to put into the limp call a 20 big blind jam range, and then like, you know. I can get behind checking these flops a lot, but I feel like this flop actually interacts with a lot of what my... Perceived LFI might look like. Get down, girl. Go ahead, get down. Not folding. Don't think it's like rocket science or anything either. Bluff. Ah, uh, I knew that. Sucks that he that I chopped that. Sucks that I chopped that. Probably not putting in a bunch of money. Still probably not putting in a bunch of money. Yes, we'll take that. Win whatever we can, way we can get it. There's a lot of big blinds, but like, you know, he might have a raising component to his strategy here and like, it's not super easy to, oh shit. Not super easy to limp que like queens or, um, you know, something like that, fuck. That sucked. <clears throat> 